Hey, this is a little video on the Quincy QT54 two-stage four-cylinder air compressor. And a lot of people wire these up using 30 amp breakers. Some will use a 40. Quincy recommends a 50 amp circuit breaker along with the properly sized wire. In my case, I used a 50 amp breaker and eight gauge wire because a 50 amp breaker uh, works with eight gauge wire. It's not too big of a breaker. Another thing that needs to be looked at, and I'm gonna read it, is Quincy air compressors must be installed and operated in a secure level upright position in an area that is clean, dry, well lighted, adequately ventilated, and not less than 12 inches to a wall or other compressor. So make sure you have 12 inches of space from the wall from the air compressor so that it can breathe. Ample circulation of air must be provided across the compressor cylinders, heads, and cooler if so equipped. If at all possible, the pulley drive system, i.e. motor pulley compressor sheave belts and guard should face a wall to minimize any danger created by the drive system while the compressor is operating. Do not allow hot air from additional equipment to blow towards the compressor. So that's some of the things you need to look at when you install the compressor. Another thing, and this one a lot of people want to argue about it, is torquing the head gaskets after running it for one hour. And this is what the manual says. Heat created during the initial startup of a new compressor will cause slight expansion of the heads. This slight expansion crushes the head gasket ever so slightly and affects the torque value of the cylinder fasteners, the cap screws. To ensure optimal performance, Quincy recommends that you initially operate the compressor for at least one hour. Shut the compressor off and follow the precautions outlined in Section 5, shopping, or Stopping for Maintenance. Retorque the cylinder head or the cylinder to head cap screws to the specified outlined or the specifications outlined in the parts book corresponding to the record of changes to your compressor after the compressor has cooled. So what you need to do is go over to the parts book and if you look on page 16 you're gonna see a diagram. Page 17 is gonna be a parts list. But if you notice, it gives you the torque spec. You need to torque them heads, cap screws down to 21 foot pounds and they will be loose. That's for the left cylinder. If you go over to page 18, this is the right hand cylinder. And again, 21 foot pounds. And page 19 is again the, the parts list. So you need to make sure that you take care of those items. I'm going to go over here. I wired my unit with AWG 8 wire, which is 8 gauge wire. And I also installed a 50 amp circuit breaker. So it's an expensive unit. You really shouldn't skimp out on wiring it up. So many people want to just go with the cheapest wiring solution that they can find. And here you can see there's my wall space. I'm 12, 12 inches from the wall. But people want to go with the, the cheapest solution. So a lot of them are, are using 10 gauge wire. If you, if you rarely ever use it, yeah, 10 gauge wire will work. It's still not wired properly. Quincy makes these recommendations for a reason. If you ever work the compressor, then it's gonna, as it heats up, its startup load is gonna be a little bit more. And startup load is what the breaker is gonna end up tripping on if it's, if it's too small of a breaker. So 
I recommend using 8 gauge wire, 50 amp breaker, just like Quincy wants you to. That'll keep you out of any trouble.